Hello guys, what is up? I am Lee, I'm one, two, one. Welcome back to more Sonic CD for the PC last time. We cleared things up at Wacky Workbench, dealing with a lot of trampolines in the process. But at least we got out, well, almost unscathed. And with not one but two time stones in the process. In this episode, we're now finally in Stardust Speedway, and honestly, even if you have not played Star CD, this zone will ring many a bell. Especially knowing that this zone was featured, I think, twice? Yes, twice. In a future game, so I'm going to talk more about that in a moment. But, if you guys are hyped for nonetheless, for more Sonic CD here on the channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe more content if you're new, and ring that bell to get notified if you're on the channel. If you missed the last episode, it's on the card, top right. Anyways, start a sweet way. I mean, come on. The music... Though I'm not gonna keep quiet forever. <laughs> the music, the ambiance, and of course the up straight up speed you can get in the zone. It speaks volumes to how popular the zone is. And I think they have used this like twice in other places. And my other place I'm talking about, if I'm mistaken, Sonic Generations and Sonic Mania, two very well-known classic in the Sonic franchise. Unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of future signs, but I think the past that I want to find... Oh, well, I think it might be up there. I just have to be careful of all these spike balls that are going around. It's kind of dangerous, I dare say, honestly. And it's also very dangerous with all the future signs. The last thing I want is to accidentally go to the future. Oh, actually, is that, that past that I passed by? Hang on. That is. I think I know how to get it, but it might be a bit more trickier than I think. By the way, uh, mechanic right here is kind of interesting. We have these glows right here that when you hit them, they kind of change your perspective. And by that I mean, this level is actually two perspectives. It's kind of like a 3D level in a 2D space. When the orb, as you can see here, I'm actually going to show this up right here. If that orb you saw right there is um, in the background, that means you're in the background. But if it's in the foreground, well, you know where you are. Come on, I don't have to explain it too much. But this is also one part of the genius that makes Stardust Seaway so good in my opinion. Um, and why it's so popular, I would say. Like, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, but boy oh boy, I can see why people say, Hey yo, this, this beat slaps. What is slapping though is the fact that I can't find my way to that pass sign. Hang on, let me see if I can go further back down. Oh! Well, as soon as I say that, I passed another pass that I didn't even know that it would exist. There we go. I gotta be very careful because the enemies around here are pretty... slick, I dare say. Okay, actually, that's fine, because I wanna... Can I kill this guy? If I can kill this guy, that'll be good. There we go. So, I want to be careful with my movement. And... There we go. I hit a checkpoint in the process, of course. All right, now, if you were paying attention... Oh! Well, apparently I hit a future sign in the process. Great. But I guess... Well, you know what? I'm just gonna keep quiet. Again, did I have to mention any more about the music? At least I actually did showcase the Japanese music because as you heard there, that's the exact same theme you probably are familiar with if you were playing um, Sonic Generations. I think they actually used a remix of that as well in Sonic Mania, so there you go. But yeah, no, the present and the past themes, while great, you can tell they don't compare anywhere close to what we just heard there. There we go, there's me going to the past. Now, I wonder if you guys actually were observing along the way, because I did accidentally show the generator location... Whoops. I guess when I went to the past, I was in under a bottomless pit. 
well, well, I say bonus pit. It was an area which they didn't expect you to go to, but there you go. That's one of the consequences of having such a gameplay, sorry, the mechanic like that. Well, that's fine. Anyways, I wonder if you guys were paying attention to the location, because if I'm not mistaken, I should be coming down here. Avoiding that guy in the process. Avoiding that too, and I think... Hold back a bit because there it is. Fall down just a bit and boom! I actually passed by this earlier. I'm not sure you guys saw. But yeah, start a speedway. I mean, dude, well, I, I didn't actually play a lot of CD in my past, like before I came to know more about video games. But it was one thing I remember from some demo um, uh, segments. Segments? Demo. Station, excuse me. Um, this zone be true, true vibing. <laughs> That's all I can say. Because of um, how catchy the tune was. Um, the fight against Metal Sonic. I mean, who doesn't remember that? To be honest, whether it be this game or the uh, or the future games that came uh, after it. Now, right here, I want to be a bit careful because I kind of. Oh, that was a bit close. That's me seeing the spike balls up there. I kind of want to see if I can grab that. First of all, first you grab this, this thing, and secondly, be very careful my movements. There we go. Because there's a lot of spike balls around here. You can see these pistons. That's where you know, okay, a spike ball is coming up. So make sure to be careful with that. The other thing I want to do is try to grab myself 50 rings because I do want to see if I can snag a time stone from this area in particular. I'm close to it. Um, I remember there's some rings behind me. Well, as the flowers fall, I'm gonna find that did just turn this place into a good future. It's always for that time to say that. Ooh, actually, oh, whoa, actually, actually, whoa, 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 I don't know why my A button was not working. There we go. Oh, ooh, that was a bit close. Actually, hmm, let's take advantage of this. There we go, there we go. All right. I guess that's another section you can go to the past too if you wanted to, but funny thing enough, this is actually near the end of the levels. I'm not sure why you want to do that. And hit this to go to the foreground, and boom. Now I gotta admit, uh, I'm a bit nervous for this next part because there's part of me that's knowing that could possibly have to reset. Because remember how we have showcased the first six special stages? Well, I'll be practicing this. This is the last one. And we started with a very welcoming scene to say the least, but oh boy, this zone is anything but welcoming. And I actually had to practice this route quite a bit, so part of me that I'm looking going off of practice, but I had to to make sure that I didn't mess up. In fact, I already messed up uh, to an extent. Oh yeah, and I messed up especially with that A button that did not seem to work. Oh boy. I can recover this. I'm not sure if I can, but I'll try my dang, uh, dang this. Oh yeah, set three. Nah, I'm gonna have to reset. Ooh, actually, hang on. Let's see if I can set up this. Go bring it around town. Let me do that. Nope. Uh, can't get the other one. But, oh, oh my goodness, the shoots. I tell you, the movements for this last special zone, it, uh, stage is so diabolical at times because they can juke you like no other. Oh, oh that's bad. Now I'm bringing around time again, and good. Oh! So close, but yeah, so far, uh, in my case, jeez. And again, these guys just want to shoot me like crazy. All right, let me go to the outer rim. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Come on, bring it around town, bring it around town, bring it around town. Ooh. There we go. Oh, ah! As you can tell, the jukes make this special stage the hardest of them all. I mean, it is the hardest of them. Come on, the last time stone. Think they're gonna make this easy? Oh no way! 
No way are they gonna try to make this easy for you, man. No siree. I know you guys, well, I mean, to be fair, me struggling with this social stage is also more opportunities for you guys to hear this awesome music, which, by the way, I, I'll be honest, there's one thing that I did not mention throughout the playthrough that honestly can get a bit slept on, is the music in the social stage. You can get a bit competitive, but to be honest, it's a bop. It is a bop. Uh, I'll say that right now. Oh, actually, hang on. Got it! Ooh! Slick way of uh, finishing that off, but I got it. That's the last time stone. Now I'm just missing the fourth. Now the thing is that I did test this um, through the anniversary mode, but what I want to do with this Let's Play can be done, which I'm pretty glad. You know what else can be done? A very quick way to get to the pass on this zone, act uh, zone two. So the first thing I want to do is come down here, and right in the section, hold back! Oh. Well, I mean, I tried to hold back, but I did, but it did not work the way I was expecting. Hang on, let's get back up. And yeah, you can see right there, there's our pass sign that we can hit, if I can hit that is. There we go. And right off the gate, watch this. Convenient, dare I say. You know what else is also convenient? The generator. Watch this. As soon as we come out from this section, I want to jump, and I want to come up here. I also want to grab this because this will help. Do you see a glimpse of it? We have an enemy, by the way, that's spewing out these bombs. That's why you might also see these gray pellets. And then if I come from this side, hang on. Yeah, let me destroy these enemies. Actually, these enemies will... Actually, you know what? Let me allow this enemy to have this limelight. Quite literally. Watch this. Well, I mean, it tried to have this limelight because... What it's supposed to do is shoot the... It's light to it uh, downwards. I think you guys may have... Are familiar with that mechanic, that enemy, because of... Um, one of the bosses, Sonic Mania, is actually revolved around that enemy. Unfortunately, it was in the ground when it was doing that. Actually, that... This thing is actually a good sign because that's actually notifying me that I'm close to the Metal Sonic Generator. I need to... Hang on. I come back up here. Not hit that future sign. I think... Wait. Actually, is it here? Oh, wait. Did I not show the Metal Sonic Generator in Zone 1 anything about it? Or did I? Oh, maybe I did it. Shoot. You know what? Hang on a sec. You know what I can do uh, to make that out for it? I can showcase it in the Anniversary Edition instead so that you guys uh, won't be able to miss it. So, I'll admit this is actually the second time I'm actually recording this part here because I completely failed in trying to reach this certain point because I took forever. Oh, well, that was a bit of a weird wall flip. Alright, what I want to do though is I want to come down here to the middle section of the level. Go past actually by where we saw that metal uh, the generator right here, which I already broke. As I said, it was the second time recording this, and actually, oh, I'm actually close. Hang on, hang on. That oh, ow! Oops. I, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Please, I'm gonna come up here, and again, I want to find a blue platform. Uh, with spikes on it, which we saw just now before I did the cut. Check one second, I might be able to come back here and find it. Let me see. All your observation skills right here. Uh, actually, no, 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 hang on. Let me come back up. If I can get back up, it is. Come on. Oh, no, that bumper is actually what I want to see. Hang on, it's up there. Um, I want to get to the other side. Actually, hang on, jump. Yeah, I know I'm close. I know for a fact I'm close at least, so that's the thing. That bumper is actually what I want to see. In fact, oh! Really? Jeez. Did I mention how slippery Stardust Speedway is? Anyways. Come up here properly and not fail this time. There we go. That platform is what I want to see, because if I want to come up here... 
to the background yet, and I'm not mistaken. I should be close. There it is. So there you go. There's your Metal Sonic Generator for Stardust Speedway uh, Zone 1. Again, apologies that I forgot about it, but there you go. I made it up for it. Uh, yeah, so that was why I was kind of flipping out over this platform, because I realized I completely forgot about that Metal Sonic Generator. But there you go. Now you know how you're supposed to get that Metal Sonic Generator. Now, despite this, I do want to confess something. And for those who have not played this game before, you're playing this for the first time, especially if you play on the iOS version or iOS and Android version, I'll have to point, uh, point this out. You do not need the Metal Sonic Generators for 100%. However, in saying that, if you want to go for 100% achievements, you will need to clear all the Metal Sonic Generators that you uh, I've showed throughout the entire playthrough. Because they are part of an achievement that you can grab if you're able to find all of them. And, well, clear them, of course, because that's the official 100% playthrough, I dare say. Now, the other sad thing is the fact that I actually wanted to make this playthrough a proper 100% where... Well, then again, proper 100% is technically just showcasing all of the... Um, technically, it's showing all of the... only the metal generators and the time zones. So I'm still on the track to getting that. But man, my OCD is going to get very... triggered. Well... My OCD is going to get very triggered knowing that I definitely did not get that metal sign generator. Also, dang clip. This is what, as I said before, that's probably one of the disadvantages of a game like this where you're having multiple, um, like, layers uh, attached to it. Ugh. That's happened twice now, uh, funny thing enough. Anyways. Uh, or my could My control? What? Hang on, hang on, wait, what? My A button was not working. So I guess I was clipped into the platform that was on. What's going on? Jeez. Okay, so first I've... Man, this is so strange. First I have... First I have problems with... Um, there we go, that's me showcasing the... Yeah, I can. Um, first I having problems trying to get the Metal Sonic Generator earlier, and now I have problems playing the game apparently. Ugh. Oh, what's going on now, honestly? Now, speaking of Metal Sonic Generators, I'll like point out the one I'm about to get is the last one in this game. Why? Well, you'll soon see in a moment. That said, I'm actually trying to find my way inside that maze you guys can see here. Actually, hang on. This will do. Do you see that? Now, I want to come up here because... Hold back. And voila! The last Metal Sonic generator in the game. Pity I'm not gonna like have this whole playthrough showcase all of them in one sitting, but oh well. At least I'm still technically on to the rule of 100%. I'm just not gonna play Donkey Kong Country and not get my 101%, um, I'm gonna say. <laughs> With that said, I mean, as I said, music. Pretty much iconic no matter who you're talking to. Like, it doesn't matter if you're. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog fan, uh, stand, or you're a guy who's just like only starting to know about the franchise through like a recent game. Sonic, sorry, Stardust Speedway is just that iconic. And I think I've proven why with this music. Now, before I actually end off the, the zone, I do want to showcase the future design, um, the future level uh, design in uh, Stardust Speedway because. Boy, oh boy, it's gorgeous. Well, I'm gonna say this right now. It's actually quite beautiful. So I'm gonna hit a future sign. Let me see if I can find that same spot. There we go. Well, actually, that was smooth. And getting back to the uh, present. And then getting to the future, actually, is quite easy as well because there are a lot of future signs we saw along the way. What I want to do is... Actually, hang on. There we go. I think I saw one up there. I don't know if there's any bumpers, so I'm going to have to try and... Oh, actually, no, I need to find an alternate pathway to get that. I think I'm going to go this way. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Again, Stardust Speedway. There's a reason why it's called Stardust Speedway. So how 
fast you go in this uh, uh, this level. One way or another. Okay, what's with all the pass signs all of a sudden? I don't want to go to the pass, jeez. Why? Why? Like, why would I want to go to the future? I can't go to the future, but I'm having trouble going to the future. And why do I want to go to the past? I'm having trouble going to the past. Makes zero sense. Okay, this is just a dead end, I think. Hang on. Back out here. Jeez. Why are there so many pass signs? I do not want to go to the past. It's 74. There we go. Jeez. I'll admit though, there's one thing that's annoying about this uh, this stage. There's just so many spike balls around here in very precarious locations and very annoying locations at that too. Oh, there we go. That's a good sign. If I don't add... Oh, actually... Got it. I think. I hope I didn't hit a pass sign in the process. There we go. Oh my god. This is the good future, and boy is it pretty! But the background itself is just so picturesque. Rob the gate. And then, that's not even the, the uh, why this, uh, that's not the only reason why this place is awesome. I grab a shield. Let me plus the music again. Always love to hear the different remixes of the same track. You know, don't mind me as I speed my way along, one way or another. further and all of a sudden we get to see very picturesque um, scenes in the intersection of this place. And as you can see right here, once uh, we go to the future, the good future, you can see that, well, we have the pistons, which in this case those are like spinning like crazy, we actually can uh, determine where they launch us by pressing the A button at the right time. So there you go. Of course you guys remember the very famous like section in the um, in Act Two of Stardust Speedway with Sonic Mania, you guys you can ride a um, firework up to the top of the the area to uh, like a cel mini celebration at that. It's quite cool. Again, this place just awesome, 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 awesome. I want to carry here because I do want to go a certain way. I uh, just made it. And I do not want to take the gold ring because I want to save that for the next zone. As I said before, the Harpsen playthrough, in my opinion, is just all generators, all 14 metal generators, and all 7 time stones. But that could be done in a certain way as you'll see next episode. But, anyways, as the, I'm not kidding, 30 minute recording comes to an end. Jeez, I've been playing for so long this episode. And all because I had trouble trying to find a metal sonic gener a metal sonic generator. Great. Sounds about right. Now we're in Act 3, and right off the gate, I mean, you guys can hear the music. I also should probably mention that if you come up here, with an extra life and some speed shoes. Although they're not going to help us in a moment, I'll just say that right now, but they will allow us to get up to higher more places in chat. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Tip right here though is that you can see you can kind of practice your the the jumping off of a high slope because you can see right here you get a ton of height just from jumping on there. And why do I say that? Well, this ain't the, I know, any ordinary boss. We're gonna be racing Metal Sonic. And you see Eggman up there uh, taunting. He's gonna shoot a laser. If that laser hits us, it's a lo lose a life straight away. So all I can say is run. And right the game, I noticed that the music is playing is the bad future music too. So even if you did get um, the metal, uh, the the robot, the normal generator, uh, doesn't matter. This music is still gonna play, which is awesome though. I mean, come on, hearing this music, 
Okay, say this is a bad uh, stage. Uh, uh, if, if you can hear this. The uh, thing is, that I need to be careful because as much as I am kind of dilly dying my way up, too, I need to be careful as well that I finish ahead of Metal Sonic. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh, oh wait, he's gonna finish before me. Oh, not! Oh, barely! As I said, if Metal Sonic beats you or X-Men's laser catches you, that's an instant lose of lives. Glad I did it on first try. And look who is waiting for us on top. There's no, um, what's that? Uh, there's no generator we need to break at the end. Instead, we're gonna break the shambles that Amy's in. But before I do that, next time on Sonic CD, the playthrough comes to an end at Metallic Madness. Speaking of very familiar zones, next zone should also be familiar. Thank you guys so much for watching, but remember, the adrenaline rush is real. This is the Apple Number 121 signing out. I'll catch you guys in the finale for my playthrough of Sonic CD. Peace!